What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at True North versus Project North. I've received a lot of comments over the months about what the difference is, how to use it, when, all this kind of stuff. So my hope is that this video will clear up everything and really serve as the complete guide that you might need to always understand what True North and Project North are and how to use them effectively, set up views and everything like that. Before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, which I sure hope you do, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Okay, getting into it now. I've got this really basic compass set up to the point where I'm going to edit this as we go, and my hope is that this will serve as a, a visual as to how True North versus Project North work. Uh, I've actually made a custom family here, which will just kind of rotate with us as I update these parameters, and we can see this compass move and so okay yeah if you're not familiar with project north versus true north th the real basic idea is true north is literally true north like the actual north of like if you're talking about coordinates of the world literally north and then project north generally speaking is you know trying to orient your building in a way to where it makes sense you know like if you have a building you'd probably want to orient it more like this than say angled off to the side on all your views and so that's where project north versus true north comes into play you'll notice that a lot of people will typically just start modeling and they'll go whatever and i i'm speaking from experience i'll just model a building you know just like this right there but when i find out oh you know it's based on where it is and based on where north actually is located the building's actually rotated a certain degrees and it's usually not any round number that you want you'll get a survey and you realize oh gosh it's all tilted this way and so this video will basically serve to fix that and so you're you're not like you don't need to remodel anything you don't need to rotate everything because this will solve all your problems that's kind of the goal here I've seen a lot of people, and again, I'm always speaking from experience when I say when I've seen this, it's because I've done it too. I have seen others and myself take a whole building and realize, oh gosh, you know, true north, like north is actually 20 degrees uh, clockwise. So I'll literally select everything in the whole model and rotate it all. I'm like, oh, I've done it before. And honestly, it works, but you're likely to break something depending on how much you have depending on where you are, like, in the model in process. It's just not worth doing. So, okay, let's get into some examples. So right now, I have True North and Project North set to zero. As in, both are straight up. It's all default. It's kind of what you would expect. This is like an out-of-the-box template. There's nothing going on here. I don't have any models whatsoever. And so at this point, what are we going to do? Well, it's probably best that we actually throw in a model. So let's say, like I said before, we, we go ahead and just draw in walls here. And I'm just... I'm for the sake of this video, I will just draw a rectilinear building, you know, just like that. Easy enough. And so really at this point, we, let's say we've done some modeling. We're like, okay, great. We get a survey in, like I said before, and it's, oh, it's off at an angle. You know, we realize that the site is actually tilted versus what it looks like here, where everything is nice and uniform, zero degrees, 90 degrees, it's not the case, and most of the time, in real life, it's not going to be the case. Now, you could probably get away with it being pretty close, if it is pretty close, actually, to this. And just modeling the building that way, making your documents, and no problem. I mean, people understand that. But it it does help to have True North correct early, as early in the project as possible. Now, I will say, what we're doing here won't impact the model at all, So, which is really nice, too, because let's say you model your entire building, it's perfectly done, and you get to the point where you realize, oh, no, like, I'm actually, I don't have True North set correctly at all. And I need to show it correctly on the site plan. That's generally where you're going to have your views oriented to True North versus Project North. You, we're not out of the woods here. We're not in trouble. We don't have to remodel. You don't have to rotate your old building via the rotate tool. You can use these tools that we're about to use here. And so keep in mind that True North and Project North are not rotating any sort of model <laughs> like truly in model space. I don't like saying model space because we're not an AutoCAD, but it's just rotating the way you see it. If you can just visualize it that way, yeah, understand it that way. All right, so where do we find these things? Well, in every view, you'll see over here we have an orientation, which is set to true north right now. It's actually generally set to project north as the default. 
So Project North is your default. And so that's fine. And like I said before, whether I change it from one to the other, it's going to be the exact same because that's it is the exact same right now. It's both set to zero. So let's set this to Project North. And we, we can just rotate Project North and see what happens. And we can do that. We can actually do both within the manage and position. So I've done other projects, or I've done, <laughs> I've done other videos on relocate project, which is uh, a different tool in of itself. It's It has to do with changing the building vertically. And, and something to note that all of these things here aren't affecting your 3D model, like literally 3D elements, but they're affecting how it's presented on sheets and views. So that's really what we want to take into account here, that we're not moving physical elements here. So we want to rotate true north, or we want to rotate project north. So project north, this is what we get whenever we open pr open project north here. So we see rotate all elements, and this is like everything, like absolutely everything. So this is really important. I've got this you know north, south, east, west here, and I want to maintain this text node orientation. And all that's going to do is make sure that in is still straight up, <laughs> as opposed to being rotated in wonky with every other rotation. Okay. And, you know, if we show details, this is this is the big thing that I want to account for. And, you know, you can read this on your own, but basically what this is saying is that it affects the entire model. This first line here is the most important. This action affects the entire model, verify results in all views. And this is something that you want to... Um, tell your whole project team if you're working in a work sharing file, multiple people in there. You don't want to just do this because not only is it going to confuse everyone, but all of a sudden their views might change and it, it will just cause some issues. So make sure that, generally speaking, I like to do this when no one else is in the model, that kind of thing, and everyone else knows what I'm doing. Whatever, that's fine. So maybe at this point we realize, you know, I, I throw out the example 30 degrees. Well, I can't select 30 degrees. I have a... 90 degrees, 180, or I can actually select a line. Well, this is kind of weird. I don't know why you can't put input the values here, but it's all based on uh, actual lines or actual dimensions that you have in the project. So <laughs> for something like this, even as simple as it is, I'll, I'll take a detail line and I'll take this center point and I'll just you know make sure I'm 30 degrees. You know, it just doesn't matter. And so I want to make sure I'm 30 degrees you know from this point here, of course because it's going to realign to this line that I'm drawing as the new the new vertical, the new straight up. And so let's come in here, and so the angle itself right now is 25 degrees. Let's go ahead and make that 30. And so if you're familiar with the way degrees work, you know, if you start flat here, or in this case vertical, whatever, it's going counterclockwise would be the positive degrees, and then counter and clockwise itself would be, negative degrees. So we want to go positive degrees just because that makes sense. So right here, there's our 30 degrees. So what we're going to ultimately do is align our project north to this line. So everything's going to rotate 30 degrees because that'll be our project north or our true north, whatever it might be. In this case, it'll be project north. I'm just, I'm going through this just to show you uh, the difference in what happens when I change project north versus true north. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to change project north. We're going to maintain the text note and then align to this line. And so what we get is, it's a warning, but it's not really a warning. It's kind of odd that it's a warning, but they're calling it a warning. It's saying that this completed successfully and processed all my elements. Cool. So we need to change this project north to 30 degrees. And by that, I need to actually do 30 degrees because I, again, I went clockwise. So negative 30 degrees. And so here we go. What are we looking at here? Well, this is telling me that true north is this way. You know, like if I'm looking at a compass on Google Maps or something, True North is this way. And then it just so happens that my Project North or the view that, that I've set up here, the Project North is straight up. Now, I this is something that I wouldn't recommend doing. I know I'm doing this kind of incorrectly, and you'll see why in the end. Because this doesn't make sense. Like, generally speaking, you want Project North to be the orientation in which you're working on your project, in this case, straight up. Of course, we want kind of always to be Project North, or you choose a 90 degrees, or something generally more round. In this case, 30 degrees is kind of round, but what I'm saying here is that all of our angles of the building are now 30 degrees as opposed to, you know, 0 and 90, which we had before. So this is, this is telling me, well, you know, obviously I didn't 
I shouldn't have used Project North. I probably should have used True North because at this point, like I said, maybe 30 degrees, we realized we drew this whole building in 30 degrees was actually True North. So let's go back here. I'm going to delete this line because we don't need it. I'm going to change this back to zero. But now what I'm really going to do is come back and rotate Project North again, maintain, and then align. I'm going to just align where we had before. So basically I put everything back to where we were. So let's say again, maybe we realize, you know, True North is actually like 30 degrees off of where this is. And so it makes sense that this would be Project North. So let's actually change True North. So I'm going to go to Position, Rotate, True North. And so when I do this, I'm going to get an error and it says View must be oriented to True North before I can modify that. And that means we have to go back to our orientation over here and change that to True North. And so I changed this to True North and nothing happened because these are both set to zero degrees, straight up, whatever, nothing's, nothing's different. So let's go ahead and change this to rotate True North. Now you'll notice also, it's kind of interesting, I can't rotate Project True North and that's because I have oriented to True North. I don't know why I can, ro I can try to rotate True North when my orientation is set to Project North, but nonetheless, I don't know. That's, I didn't design this thing. So rotate true north. And, you know, the nice thing about this is that we actually get a placement. Like we can literally put this wherever we want and then just rotate. You know, again, for the sake of this, it, it will matter where you're where you end up placing this start location or the pivot location because it really I mean, it'll affect everything. Obviously, if I rotate 30 degrees here versus 30 degrees over here it's going to change where your building ends up. So that's something to be aware of. And that's generally why you'd want to get a survey because the survey will have everything oriented correctly. And once you get your building there, then you can use survey points to align correctly and place this really where you want. But for the sake of this video, what I'm going to do is end up just using my center point there and then literally going 30 degrees this way. I can input this just like any other rotate tool, 30 degrees. And so what happened here when I rotated True North? Well, everything, li literally everything, even my text and everything rotated 30 degrees. And, you know, I, that's kind of what we would expect because this is everything. It's True North. It is moving everything 30 degrees. And so I'm actually going to come over here and make sure this says 30 degrees because we moved everything 30 degrees. Now, this looks wrong right now because I'm oriented to True North. Because normally what we're used to seeing is having everything straight up and down 90 degrees. And so again, I'm oriented to true north. Now you'll notice this is what happens, and this is kind of the point here, what we're getting at. When I change from orienting from true north to project north, this is where you'll see everything in action. So I'm going to change this to project north, and then look what happens. So everything rotates back. Now, okay, let me explain what happened. So we set true north, and it we realized, oh, the building, you know, actually... It's, if we look at the building in Google Maps, it looks exactly like this. Like north is, you know, really straight up. In this case, it would actually be thir negative 30 degrees. That makes more sense. So we've got our north, which is straight up. Okay, that makes sense because north literally is straight up in this case, this building on the site. And so how do we want to, like, see, how do we want to see the building? Well, we want to see it you know, straight up and down as in like 90 degrees, zero degrees, you know, flat lines, you know, we can, so we can make documents that are easy. Well, then we change our orientation to project north. And then all of a sudden, everything makes sense. So we've got our true north, which is negative 30 degrees, you know, like we just saw it coming 30 degrees that way. But now we have it set to project north, which is, you know, zero degrees. And we can work on our project, do absolutely everything that we need to do. And so the moral here is, what do we learn? Well, we can rotate both True North and Project North independently. That's fine. You can make you can make it any number that you want. It doesn't matter. Typically, these are more decibel decimals because that's just what it ends up. You don't get quite the round number that you want. And so, at this point, we can use this for every single view. And the nice thing about this is that you probably started modeling things square, zero degrees, ninety degrees, and the nice thing again about that is that the orientation is Project North. So like you can kind of keep that. And so really the point is you, you'll find out from the survey what the true north value is. You will then set one of your floor plans, it doesn't matter, to what true north is. And then you'll 
literally rotate everything and you'll be good. And so the idea is, or at least this is how I work, this sort of orientation, this view with true north straight up would show up on my site plan, any any sort of like overall kind of site plan. Because I want I want things to be viewed as if it were on Google Maps or any sort of site map to have north straight up. It just kind of makes sense. And so this is really helpful because I have to actually go to the trouble of changing true north for the site plan. And I have to go to the trouble of changing the orientation to true north for my site plan only. Whereas every other view would be set up with true north set up kind of out of the box the way you would expect so you can do your modeling as you want in the beginning and really not have to go back and change anything if you realize, oh, I'm off of True North. Now, we can do absolutely anything else. We can change. We can always come in and change Project North to you know be 90 degrees clockwise. This is kind of, it's do whatever you want territory, but make it right. Because you could document your building this way to where, you know, you have Project North facing this direction. Now, I've I've actually never done that because it doesn't quite make sense. The whole idea between Project North and True North is that Project North is generally able to be straight up and down because it just makes sense. But you have the freedom to do whatever you want. So I probably want to undo this just because it, again, would make more sense that Project North is straight up and I have my True North set to whatever angle that I need to based on the actual site condition. So... It, I think that's going to do it for this video. If if you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section below. I hope this answered all your questions and you know, really concerns of messing with True North and Project North. It's not that difficult. Again, that's all view dependent, and it's pretty simple to do. Project North is your default, so you're kind of good to go however you want to model it in the beginning and then set True North later. So if you did happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. It really, really helps me out a lot. You know, hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.